Uh, it's not quite the video I was expecting to make, but busy with work, so I thought I'd throw together a quick video of just something I was planning on doing. One thing I love about my phone is it's got wireless charging, but I don't really want to pay all the money for one of these wireless chargers because they're not exactly that cheap. So, I got a little one like this off eBay for only about three or four dollars. One of the issues though is that you've got to line it up very accurately, so it's got to sit in the right place to charge. Slightly low it doesn't charge, slightly high it doesn't charge, which means I've occasionally put it on the charger not realize it's not charging, wake up in the morning, 10% battery on my phone. So I thought I wanted to set something up where I can just drop my phone in, nice little cradle sort of thing, just like this sort of uh, charger, and it will hold the charger just in the right place. So here we go, thought I'd design one. Start off with measuring the charger, it's about seven centimeters across, I think I just used seven centimeters as the measurement, about one centimeter deep. Around that, I put the size of the phone, and I worked out that from the bottom, I worked out the charger should be three and a quarter centimeters away from the bottom of the phone. So you can see here, I measure that, lay the phone out. Then I try and, you know, just do an interesting design of the rest of it. Nice sort of curved edges, and it looks more interesting at least than just a square bracket holder. Do the cool design, extrude the phone, cut it out. What I'm left with then is working out a base. So I thought, you know, a big round base would be nice and stable, but would probably take more, more filament to print. So I decided I'm going to go with just the outline, give it some nice curves, tidy up all the edges, and there we go. Time to get printing. So here we go, it's done. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It eventually worked. As you can see, I had to trim off the bottom of it because my design was about one, cent one centimeter off or so. I tried to line the charger up with the little metal magnet pad on the back. Unfortunately, I lined up with, I think, the bottom half when I was measuring it and the top half when I was checking where it charges. So I was about one centimeter off. Anyway, in the final version, the print didn't work, but trimming off a little bit of the bottom with just some uh, pliers. Still works fine now. Looks alright. I'm pretty happy with that. The next day. Alright, so I decided to come back to it. I didn't really like the way I had to shave off the stuff at the bottom for it to work. Didn't look great, and the phone didn't sit in it very easily. So I went back and edited it. You can see what I've done now is I put some hooks at the bottom, which allows the phone to be held better and it lines up the charger nicely. So I can put it on, charges easily, and it sits in there nicely. One mistake I've made, the lock button is lined up right behind the side support, so I can't actually access the lock button while the frame is in there. Uh, one of my issues with this is I designed it in Rhino, which does not have parametric design, so when I wanted to make one small change, like the height of the circle, I had to go back and edit a lot of things, build some blocks in, read, um, zero the circle, move it around. Whereas I've got Fusion 360, I just haven't used it much. Would have been much easier with that, just to all of a sudden go in, change one number, it would have moved it down, would have been perfect. So maybe in the future I'll use Fusion 360. Anyway, this works much better now. Thanks for watching guys, catch you later.